hello you guys and welcome back to the vlogs my name is Isneen if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on today's video it is episode three of the Ramadan series I am vlogging every single day this month and I'm uploading every three days so make sure you're subscribed because I've been super consistent and I'm genuinely loving making these I hope you guys are enjoying the Ramadan content as much as I am let me know what you're feeling in the comments I cannot believe we're like literally halfway through Ramadan it's so crazy this month really flies by excited to continue vlogging and sharing these moments with you guys hopefully giving you guys some inspiration for like recipes and just getting to know me on a better level and like spending that time together it's been so so much fun and really enjoying it so let's get into the video don't forget to follow me on Instagram TikTok all the things and subscribe I have been loving the Youth to the People um, cleanser. This is the green tea and spinach vitamin superfood cleanser. This has been my favorite. And I've also been trying out the First Aid Beauty cleansing oil to take off my makeup. As well as this True Botanicals Ginger Tumor Cleansing Balm. I've used this before and I really love it. My like two favorite face masks are the Caudalie Venergetic C Plus Instant Mask. Sorry, it's like kind of dirty. And the Summer Fridays. Um, jet lag mask. This is so amazing. I literally brought one of these with me to Turkey Like I went out and I bought one because I was completely out because I cannot travel without it seriously And I do this like once a week. It really makes your skin so glowy and it is definitely Worth the money in my opinion sunscreen. I love the summer Fridays one and then also at night some days I will use this Laneige water sleeping mask I've been doing this for like the past year and it's like a gel consistency so you put it on after the rest of your skincare like kind of like slugging but it's not petroleum based so i find that this is a lot um like i don't know it's a lot better for sensitive skin and also if your like pores get clogged i find that like petroleum is just way too much especially with spring and summer coming up holy grails this ramadan have been the osea ocean eyes serum along with their eye cream but it's in my office um otherwise i would show you guys this stuff is amazing and I've talked about it before, but it has like the roller applicator and it is super cooling and the serum actually works in brightening your under eyes and I have genetically very dark circles. So I can confirm that that thing actually really works. And then I am also loving the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic um, Vitamin C Serum. They sent this to me in PR last week and I am in love with it. I've been using it and I am really trying to work on like hyperpigmentation of my skin this year. Um, so I love that and for moisturizer, let me show you. This is the moisturizer I've been using It's the Caudalie Premier crew rich cream. This stuff is so good and this is my second tub So I'm in love with this. It's really really hydrating and it does not clog my pores I also have been liking the new face more I think I posted on my Instagram story that like I just wasn't a huge fan because I have been using like just the standard gua sha for so long and so I just know like, I don't know. I feel like a gua sha is very inexpensive and it gives you very good results. So I still don't think this is like, you need this. I'm about to leave so out of my socks, but I do really like it. And I've noticed a big change in like my jawline area and it is a lot less work. I feel like, like manual work than my gua sha. Uh -oh. Today I'm starting this vlog off late. It is 5, 12 PM on Tuesday. And I have been working since the food. I like don't go back to bed just as I feel like it makes me really groggy and I like drink a little bit of coffee and take one of those like long release caffeine pills and it is like fine for me um but yeah I've just been working so so much the past few days and I feel like especially during Ramadan like I just have way less capacity for like long periods of work and stuff so I don't know it's just been a really long day and I still have a presentation I need to finish up that I'm presenting tomorrow for my marketing job, which I'm wrapping up at the end of the month. I have that tomorrow, I need to finish it. I just feel like my hours in Ramadan are also kind of wonky. I'm sure those of you who do work corporate jobs, um, like full-time, I don't work one full-time, but just like corporate work in general, like you guys know what it feels like. And I worked a corporate job full-time last year during Ramadan and it is not easy. So. If you are struggling or you feel like, you know, it's just not the same for you, like you are not alone, I am 100% positive and I hope that all of you have 
work environments that are accommodating to Ramadan. I remember last year my job was super accommodating and like completely let me like reframe my whole schedule for Ramadan. But anyways, I've been doing a lot of work and I've also been getting super excited about spring and summer fashion and um, I have been like trying to find some new pieces to style and just like trying to switch things up. I feel like I've been kind of bored with my style, like feeling like it's just been a bit repetitive and I like to do this like once a season like in the beginning but I will go onto Canva and I will make a presentation with like all of my inspiration like I will li I literally live on Pinterest and I feel like I get a lot of my inspo from there I feel like I get a lot of questions about like where do I find my style inspo or like what inspires me it's like really Pinterest and I have a few people that I like love to follow who really inspire me so I'll like go into Canva and I'll create a like lookbook or like an inspo um, page. I'm not like planning out my outfits neurotically for like the whole season, not at all, but I just like to get some inspo, figure out what pieces I wanna get, what can I like restyle from my closet that I already have, like, and then also this is something I need to be better at, but I need to go through my closet and just like change things out, like get rid of things. I feel like I was on a Pinterest grind in like the beginning of the year, but especially moving into spring and summer like I just have a lot of like clothes that I'm not wearing as often and I want to be really sustainable with my wardrobe and just start like you know giving some of it away and selling things so that I can make room for new clothing because obviously like everyone's style changes as time goes on and with my job like I'm constantly getting new pieces in and restyling them and showing them for you guys so I want to make sure that I am like obviously you know not hoarding and i i hate hoarding like i am such a neat freak i am so neat with everything but the something about like my closet it just like drives me crazy like my dream is to have professional organizers one day when i have like a legit closet like here since it's just like kind of it's like temporary it's not my forever house obviously because i am married and i will be moving out inshallah next year but it's just like i would love to have professional organizers like come and do our whole closet space and like all of that but I don't know the closet stuff it's just like I don't like how much stuff I have and I feel like stuff has energy and it carries weight for me at least like mental weight and just like obviously physical space and I just don't like the feeling of being like surrounded by so much stuff I feel like it gives me anxiety so I want to work on like getting rid of things cleaning things out I mean I did that with my room this past weekend like I cleared out some of the drawers, like helped fold some of the stuff in my closet. Like obviously this is all new and it's like more fit to like my style and like what my room needs to be right now, which for me right now, this bedroom needs to be peaceful. It needs to be a space for me to relax and also just like chill and like browse if I want to. And then I have an office that's dedicated for work. So I don't like to like combine work and like rest. So anyways, I was doing that today because I've just not been the most productive. So yeah, I was just going through and figuring out like my style and like trying to look for new pieces and it always gives me a lot of inspo to like look on Pinterest. Let me actually show you one of my what my Pinterest board looks like. Let's go to this is the main Pinterest board and it's called Inspiration. You can follow me on Pinterest and it's a public board. You guys can follow it. But I just love this page. Like this is my own picture. So I do upload my own photos and then I also just like take a lot of inspo and save things. But I literally like this is where I look when I want inspiration for anything like clothing, home, fashion. And I don't know, I'm just like this type of person. I like to see everything in one place versus like having a separate board for everything. Like I do have like a separate board for like wedding and like house and stuff. But for right now, I just kind of like having this to be like a visual like mind dump area so anyways i was just like looking at some stuff and i did actually finally order sambas they came into stock they have not been in stock for the past like a year and a half i swear i've been trying to buy them for so long and i bought them off of farfetch and they're supposed to come in shala next week so i will link them in the description box if they still have the sizes um but yeah that's like kind of what i've been doing today i did work i've been working since like 6 a.m for my tech job Again, I still have to do some work because I haven't been like doing the whole like stretch of time consistently for that. Like I just have not had the most focus, but the past like couple hours I've been just like on Pinterest looking at clothes and stuff. And I think I found 
like a better option for wedding dresses. Let me show you guys really quick. It's gonna be one of the places I'm going to search for wedding dresses. They have a boutique in West Hollywood. So I'm gonna go look and I think they have more dresses that fit like my style and my aesthetic. And I did like the designers that they had in there a lot. I think it's a great option. And then also I wanna check out Pernovias because um, I don't think they carry their dresses here. And I do believe they have a flagship store in Glendale, but if any of you are from the area, let me know if you have any wedding dress boutique like recommendations in SoCal because I am definitely on the hunt as you guys know if you've been keeping up with my wedding dress journey. Like it's just a lot harder than I anticipated it to be. But anyways, I, I'm gonna be patient. I'm not in a rush, so. That's that with wedding dresses. I can't show much here, but I have been working on a really, really exciting campaign for a brand that I truly love so much. You guys will not be surprised by this partnership whatsoever. And so like part of my day today has been like reading through the brief and we have um, some meetings that we're going to schedule. One of them tomorrow I think is on Zoom and then we're going to also schedule for some in-person meetings in LA because it is a multi-month partnership. So that's really really exciting and i've just been doing some of that work today also this is so not related but i feel extremely pale tonight i think i need to do a self tan i'm just gonna put you guys back but basically when it comes to like partnerships um and all of that like content creation the brand will send over like a creative brief so that's like what i review ahead of the campaign time and you want to make sure if you are a content creator i'm sure you already know this but like you want to make sure that you fully read through the creator um, brief, um, just so you're not like shooting content and potentially doesn't align with what the brand is envisioning. And then you have to like, maybe like reshoot the content or something like that would be worst case scenario. But like, I've definitely had that happen to me in the past and it just avoids that you like wasting your time and time is so valuable. So I have just been going through that. Let me respond to an email before I head out. I'm about to head up to the grocery store. And let me check if the dry cleaner is still open. The pieces I need to drop off from Turkey. Okay, they're still open until six, so I'm gonna head out after this, obviously, but I'm gonna respond to this email. Okay, so I just sent the email, really excited. My camera is gonna die, oopsies. But I'm gonna head out. I have been just in like workout clothes all day because it actually makes me feel more put together during ramadan we're gonna go to the dry cleaners and we're going to the grocery store i need to pick up a couple of things to make a star tonight we're gonna make um like roast chicken like the classic roast chicken that my mom always makes i will try and harass her for a recipe because she never writes recipes down and i'm gonna listen to imam omar Suleiman's podcast on the way like i said i try and do things like this so that like i'm just a little bit more mindful in my day-to-day -day tasks and i can like knock two birds out with one stone these are all the clothes I need to take inside. I live at the dry cleaning and the alterations places, I swear. Hi. I don't know where the blue version of this one is, or the blue or the green version of the stock. That's the one I get when I get like store-bought cold brew, which I don't do very often, but I can't find it. Veggies look so good. Thank you, Mama. 
It looks like carrot, potato, onion. What else? Spoons. Apricots, honey. A lot of good stuff in there. And then we always make our own dressing at home because I feel like they stick so much like random stuff in the store-bought dressings. That's just like not that great for you. So we like to make ours fresh. I think she just did olive oil and lemon juice. And we have some stuff for like a fatouche salad. This is like my favorite salad. I swear I crave this so much during Ramadan. So good. So that's what I went to the grocery store to get. I got like radishes and the green pepper. So tasty and easy. This is pomegranate paste. Or molasses. What is that? Molasses. Oh yeah, pomegranate molasses. A little bit of samak. And then what's that? Dried mint. Dried mint. Just gonna do some salt. Pepper. This is like to taste. Whatever your preference is. Just mix it up. I think it's fine on its own. Normally we would add red onion. This looks delicious. Do you have the bread? So yummy. I will link the recipe down below. It's the best part. The crunchy little pita chips. And then you put those at the last second because you don't want the pita chips to like get soggy. It's like kind of a point. And then you can just kind of like do that. Yum. something but I'm almost done it's been a very busy work day I've been working since literally 5 30 6 a.m. and I'm almost done I think my presentation went well by the way I think I mentioned that yesterday but I'm about to turn in a campaign so that's exciting and then I'm gonna like shower and then I don't know what we're cooking for iftar tonight so I gotta think about that but that's all we got going on We're making banana bread because we have a ton of super duper ripe bananas that are gonna go bad and that's like the perfect time to make banana bread. It makes it so much more sweet. And I love this recipe that I use for banana bread. It's from Ambitious Kitchen. Her stuff is just so good. I feel like every single one of her recipes is just amazing. And so I've already tried this one out. I made it a couple weeks ago and it was a hit, everyone loved it. So we're gonna make it again tonight and it's also a great thing to prep for sahur because you can have it with like Greek yogurt, you can do it with fruit or peanut butter. And then if you guys watched my other vlog, you saw I made a burrata salad and I only used one of the burrata cheese balls that came in this. I used the other one that was in here before it goes bad and we have tomatoes and I have like my basil plant that I haven't even used so I wanna do some of that and then we also have some water on top. So I have a little bit of cooking and baking to do tonight, which is honestly gonna be fun. So let's walk through what I need for the recipe. 
Obviously, we're gonna need some bananas, butter. I'll link the recipe down below. I have my eggs and baking soda. I am waiting for my dad to bring the maple syrup and the Greek yogurt, which are two very important things and you don't wanna substitute those out, but he ran to the grocery store really quick. But then I'm also gonna use my vanilla extract, a little bit of cinnamon and some nutmeg. This is whole wheat pastry flour and then some chocolate chips. This makes it sweet. I don't like to do too much because Believe it or not, I actually didn't like chocolate for most of my life until I was like 17. So I like a subtle chocolate taste, nothing too overpowering. And yeah, that's what we're gonna get up to. So I'm gonna do like a little montage of me cooking the banana bread and then we'll try it together. So this is what we have going on right now for our soup. I swear, soup in Ramadan is so good. The best thing to break your fast with and then like go pray. It like holds you over for a bit. And then you come back and you eat like a bigger meal, but this looks delicious. I actually was thinking of making lentil soup, so I'm like, you read my mind. <laughs> we just added, what was that, parsley or cilantro? I always confuse those two. Looks delicious. finished product i'm so excited to eat it we have chicken from the oven pasta and then i just quickly made this burrata tomato and basil salad it looks incredible i garnished it with um balsamic vinegar a little bit of lemon juice olive oil himalayan salt black pepper and just like really good quality tomatoes and i feel like it's gonna be super tasty so this is ramadan night 15 night 14 14. <laughs> every day we literally have to stop it. We don't know what day it is, literally every single day. showed it on the vlogs but this is the prayer mat that i brought back with me from turkey it is so cute i like wasn't really going there with the intention of like shopping much besides obviously like looking at the wedding dresses and this like i just wanted to come back with a really pretty 
prayer mat and like maybe prayer clothes. I didn't find prayer clothes, but that's fine because I found this and it's stunning. It's like a pearly light pinky beige color and then it has like the tan accents which i love it and it goes perfectly with my room and you guys it is so soft like it literally feels like a blanket it's amazing and it's also i think like twice the size of my other prayer map so i really like it i'm super happy with that purchase during this little prayer set that i got from veiled collection if you haven't seen my other vlogs I will try and link it in the description if I can find it because it's seriously such a cute prayer set and the material is like, I don't know, is this called Jersey? I don't even know, but it's really, really comfortable and like soft and I think it's cute. It's like chic, it's simple. There's not like too much going on. So I really like it and yeah, I'm gonna pray right now. I made some tea and then I'm probably just gonna like lay in bed on my computer for a little bit, but Here's the prayer set, it's so cute and it doesn't like move off your head. That's like my pet peeve when prayer sets like will have the little band attachment instead of like the, what is this, like a little built-in elastic and it's like slipping off your head the whole time. So this is it. Here's my tea. I feel like this whole vlog, I'm just sitting in this little corner, but honestly, I'm just so happy with it. Like my room feels so much more calming to me now and i think it's because i did that deep clean um i like went through and i took out like things that just like weren't mine like this was my sister's room before i moved in here and obviously i've like been here for a few years now but it was just like i don't know it's like stuff that just never has a home or like a, never has a purpose and it's just like laying around and taking up space i next project for me is that bathroom counter like under the counter uh, cabinet because it is truly a disaster. Like I don't think I could ever even show you guys. It's just like been a disaster for like 10 years. I feel like Ramadan is just such a good pause on like normal life. Like it really forces you to just like change how you're living your day to day, like full 180 reset. And it's kind of crazy that like food and drink has like such a big impact on like our day to day, even though that's like what logistically like takes our energy away or makes us like hungry or whatever. I'm so tired right now and I feel like it's just a Ramadan thing. Like I'm such a homebody that I just like love to be in my house. I love to do my own thing. I like to like go to the grocery store. I like to go to the mosque and like that's really it. And I'm honestly like, I'm not even going to LA for any like work meetings or events. Like everything's just on Zoom because I'm like, I need to be home right now. Like that's what feels good for me. I'm sure some of you are feeling like that way and I'm honestly really grateful that I'm at home right now because I know that not everyone has that like luxury of being at home and being with their family. I'm drinking spearmint tea because it's really yummy and it's also really good for your skin. I like to just like watch YouTube vlogs or something at this time of the night and it's very relaxing to me. And now we're going to change and pray Isha and then take my banana bread out of the oven and then go to bed and I'm literally I'm usually in bed by like 9 9 30 these days it's crazy because I get up at so old and I just stay up so I don't really like nap during the day and then by if thought I'm like so tired I'm like ready to crash okay I love y'all bye <laughs>
I got myself together these meetings and then I will talk to you in a second. Hi. Thank you for hopping on the call with us today. We're excited to chat. Likewise, thank you all. I'm um, so really excited. excited. Yep, I think she'd be the perfect fit for this project. Aw, I'm so excited. This is like such a dream partnership and it feels so like organic. Detail because there's a few things I'll call out and then you can answer or ask me any questions that you have about the program in general or specific briefs. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start with the Spark Ad request. I just wrapped up such an exciting meeting with a brand that I'm working with that I am literally over the moon to be working with and it was really exciting that was like actually one of the few times that a brand has had like a meeting with me sometimes it'll just like all be over email but it's so nice to actually meet people and have like a conversation and be able to like put a face like the name of the brand because otherwise sometimes like this job can get a little lonely a couple emails i just have to get to for the week um and then we're gonna go out because i want to go thrift shopping you guys i feel like i have not gone thrifting in like several several years maybe not since college and i was never a crazy thrifter anyways like there were people who were so talented at thrifting and i was just honestly never one of them but today i'm gonna break that cycle and i just want to look like i want to look at some vintage pieces i'm feeling super inspired by vintage right now and i think like everyone has such a good experiences in thrifting the only thing you need is patience and i just i don't know how much patience i have right now with like fasting i think that's something i need to go with like my friend amal she is such a good thrifter my friend ablin they're both like really good thrifters so maybe i need to try again with them one time but yeah i'm excited i think it'll be fun and i'm just excited to get out of the house where we're gonna eat tonight i think we have a good amount of leftovers now, tonight i also want to try and go to the mosque um, I have not been all week because it's like been the weekday and honestly I fall asleep by like 9 30 these days because I just get up and start my work day at five so I haven't been all week but I really want to go because I know how fast this month can fly by. We quickly want to show you a little outfit of the day so I'm wearing these white jeans from Abercrombie. They're so cute. I have worn them in a couple of vlogs but I am like literally wearing such a simple outfit on top. It's literally just this t-shirt from Aritzia and the white jeans and then I was like how do I elevate this and it's such an easy way to elevate an outfit I swear this is like my uniform I'm always wearing something like this and I want to start wearing the pants that I have more because I feel like I got into a mode where I was like only wearing dresses and skirts and I do really love pants on me so I'm wearing that I'm wearing this black belt from Madewell and then this is the leather trench that I wore in Turkey and it's from Zara it's such good quality and then I just kind of dressed it up with like a tennis necklace watch jewelry and my earrings my earrings are from Madewell I love their earrings they are such a good like affordable option but I came to show you guys package in the mail from Revolve I work with them every single month in this month Maggie McDonald launched her collection with them which I'm so excited about it is such a beautiful and timeless collection and it's just so amazing what she's doing with them and i got to pick out some of the pieces so i thought we could do a little haul so let's start off with this one Oot. i love crochet this is a top super adorable it's kind of on the crop side i think i got this in a bigger size did i yeah i got this in a size medium i thought this would be cute with like skirts you could do like white linen pants and sandals this is part of maggie's collection and she signed them which is so cute i'm always like on the hunt for a good quality button up i swear it's like the easiest thing to throw on in the summer when it's hot and you still want to dress modestly and i like that this one isn't a stark white it's kind of an off-white beige which i feel like i like that on me a lot um it's really really high quality i can just like feel it it's like nice and thick and structured and it's by the brand Academies. medium in this one too i like these things very oversized always the next thing i think is a pair of pants i got two pairs of pants these are adorable and i was in need of pants like this they are like white parachute pants so cute and they don't taper at the bottom i wanted a pair that didn't and just kind of like went all the way down um they're really cute i got a size i think i got it a size small just like a normal size but they're so cute and this is like such an easy way again to dress like modestly in the summer because they're super airy so you don't feel like you're like drowning in fabric and these pants are so cute you can really like dress them up or dress them down how they had them on the model was like 
with a leather jacket. Opening this, I'm kind of realizing that like, I think I already had something similar and I didn't realize. Basically like, kind of a similar look to the other ones, but these are true denim and they have like, like these little cargo pockets on the side and they're really, really cute. I hope these fit. Yeah, I think these will fit. They're super cute. They're really big and I love that. And I feel like I'm just super into whites for the summertime. I'm just always wearing white and I love it. So I will link all of these pieces um, in the description if you're interested. And I'm also gonna link my Revolve Favorites page. That is like something I literally update every day. If you're ever wondering like any pieces that I'm loving or pieces that I would personally buy myself or that I think are super cute, check out my Revolve Favorites page because I post like, I post literally everything there. Shoes, clothes, beauty stuff. That's like something I'm constantly updating and I do buy from my own Revolve Favorites list, so. You can check that out. The thing I'm trying to be better at is not um, letting my packages accumulate because that's when they get stressful. I'm Laura Mercier. I love them. They're so sweet. I met their team last year and they're genuinely so nice. So, ooh, tinted moisturizer. I love when they handwrite you letters. I love that. Dear me, are you ready to ace the perfect sun-kissed glow? year round introducing tinted moisturizer bronzer the first cream bronzer with all the skin loving benefits of tinted moisturizer to give you two hours of weightless hydration and your best bronze yet that's the card so sweet so this sounds like it would be right up my alley like little bronzing sticks um and brands will typically send over multiple if they don't know your shade or even if like they do know your shade like sometimes shades don't exactly match up like if you're to tell them a shade in a different product and they'll send you like some in the same family so um they sent me three of these and that's what they look like i'm assuming this is kind of like a liquid formula but i have to try that at another time and then they also sent playing cards i feel like brands always try and like do fun stuff with this thing but these are like legit playing cards which is actually so nice because Whenever we have family over, especially with my in-laws and like even Mustafa and I, like we like to play card games a lot. I don't know why. My in-laws are huge like games people. So whenever at their house, we play so many random games and I feel like I never owned a pack of cards. So I'm excited to have that. I'm gonna pray the hood cause it's time and then I'm gonna head out. We're gonna try and hit some thrift stores and then I want to maybe go to Sephora. I have to return something and then I want to take some content for the Sephora sale and get that up for you guys like in advance so you know like my picks and all that. So yeah. bag and I'm not sure if I want to get it or not because it has like a bit of damage on the zipper area and like it kind of looks like a dog chewed it or something and I have no idea. I asked on Instagram if I should get it but I'm so indecisive I just can't tell. It's like $175 which I get it. It's not a lot for a Louis Vuitton bag but it's still like a good chunk of money for like a purse. So let me know what you think in the comments if I should get it or not because <laughs> Who knows, I might not get it and then try and come back and see if it's still there, but we're in the sitting room. I'm gonna try on this dress. It's like a vintage dress. I was actually coming in to look for something like this. Okay, I feel like this is making me look pregnant. I'm not really into this, this part. Okay, I decided to not get either of them. Just not feeling it, I think the bag is like a bit too damaged and the dress it was like kind of a weird fit so 